Technically speaking, the alternator cannot fry that conductor. Hello and welcome to another one of the Boat How to Ask the Expert videos. I'm here with Nigel and uh, today we have another one of your questions. So, our student is asking, I am rerouting the output of my alternator directly to the house battery instead of back along the start cable to the start battery. I am planning on using a six gauge boat cable and the boat how to opacity table shows that for a single conductor in an engine room, the opacity is 102 amps. The cable can certainly handle anything the little uh, 60 amp alternator can put out, but I wondered if I need a fuse near the battery to protect this cable in the case of a dead short. Yes, but <laughs> let's uh, so, hear from Nigel. <laughs> good, good question. The standard uh, alternator that comes with an engine, the uh, output conductor is wired back, typically speaking, to the solenoid on the starter motor, and then it relies on the, the, the battery connection to the starter motor yeah. to go back to the battery. Uh, and so what he's done is to disconnect that, and he's taking this back to some other point in the system, mm. which is fine. We do it all the time. There's a number of issues here. First of all, his conductor, the ampacity of that conductor, is uh, well above the output of his alternator. Mm. Technically speaking, the alternator cannot fry that conductor. Uh, even regardless of what happens to the alternator, it can't fry the conductor. So from the ABYC's perspective, he doesn't need a, a fuse at the alternator. Yeah. He didn't ask that question, but it's one that needs to be asked. Mm. Because from, it is a source of power, right. the alternator. From the ISO's perspective, the way the standard is currently written, uh, if you disconnect it from the solenoid and move it somewhere else in the system, you actually need a fuse at the alternator. You absolutely don't want to put one there mm -hmm. because the heat from the alternator is likely to melt the fuse and then you destroy the alternator. So you just need to make sure the ampacity of that conductor is higher than the alternator's output, which is what he's done. Yeah. But then we get to the other end of that conductor where we're, we're tied into the circuit and back to the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's got to be a fuse within that connection point and the battery, which has an amp rating no higher than the ampacity of that conductor, in his case, 102 amps. Yeah, so he needs a 100 amp fuse somewhere. Right there. If he doesn't, if, if the one back at the battery is 100 amps, That's fine. then he's protected, or less than 100 amps. Right. But if there isn't one between that connection point and the battery that protects that conductor, then he needs another yeah. car protection device. Pretty simple. Yeah. Basically, yep. whenever you get to a smaller conductor, unless the fuse as before is already pro uh, protecting regarding the opacity, you will need a new fuse. Right. Yeah. So that's kind yep. of a. And it's always at the positive side and as at the connection point where it's uh, like connected to the battery or the larger conductor. Yes. And at the point of connection of that new conductor, um, the generic rule is that that overcome protection device has got to be within seven inches. Now, if it's a circuit breaker, typically the circuit breaker is attached to a bus bar, so it's zero inches. Yeah. Uh, if it's a fuse, seven inches is a bit tight at times. So we do allow going up to 40 inches with additional sheathing and up to 72 inches at the battery with additional sheathing. So there are some, some exceptions in there, but fundamentally that fuse needs to be as close as possible yeah. to the point of connection of the conductor. Yeah, I mean, there's actually there's some really neat things like these MRBF fuses that you can put directly right. on a bolt so, or in the, on the battery post. So mm -hmm. it's actually quite nice and easy to make a connection that has zero inches of unprotected We need to wire. talk about those in a separate ah. All right. discussion. We'll do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> there are some times when they're not appropriate. Mm. Well, that's it for this video, though. Right. And um, if you want to learn more about that, I mean, this is a topic we go into great detail in our Boat Electrics 101 course. So make sure to check that out at boathouse.com. And we hope to see you here in YouTube as well. Stay tuned.